Today, we're reaching back in the vault and we're pulling up some good times and good memories of John Bass. That's a big one! <laughs> now look, I've learned how to tune you out. You, you know what? I've learned how to tune you out. <laughs> is, is this a good time to talk about the stock market? This is bigger than your firstborn <laughs> child. <There's... laughs> oh, big fish, that's a big brown. How many? 450? Oh, let's think about this. <laughs> Stick around. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. Today on Fly Rod Chronicles, we're paying tribute to my good friend, John Bass. I met John through Project Healing Waters. You know, John was not only a good friend, he was a mentor. I believe I'm ready to go again. <laughs> you, you, put me back in. More round. Put me back in, Coach. Put me back in one more time. All right, one yeah. more time. John was confined to a wheelchair in the 70s. And John was an unbelievable inspiration to Project Healing Waters and our veterans. Oh, dragon. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he had it. Took it away from him. He's got oh, a big bro, bro. That's a big, big one. That's a big one. <laughs> big brown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now see, hey, see, John, see what happens when you watch me fish? Yeah, that's it. Huh? See what happens? That's it. Did you learn anything? Oh, yeah, I'd learned a lot from you, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you learn? Uh, not what not to do. <laughs> what not to do. Oh, man. Oh, that's a nice fish, John. That's it. So what are you thinking about right now, John Bass? You thinking about the sausage plant? No. You thinking about your taxes? All I'm going to think about the fish and I. <laughs> the, the fish and I. He's even grammatically correct. I love it. That's perfect. The fish and I. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, good fish, John. There you go, buddy. He knows how to wear him down, don't he? Yes! Come on, baby! Come on, Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Here. That's you it. Man, huh? That's what life's all about. That's what it is about, isn't it? Huh? That's what it's all about. Man. Good folks. Good good fishing. More importantly, it's the people you meet in life. Oh, buddy. Wes, cool. sir. come here and look at this blue spot behind the eye. That'll tell you that's the Spruce Creek brand. See that real dark spot? Oh, yes, like a bruiser. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. So you had that fish on. I, I, I played a little psychology on you there. I, try, I tried to get you to talk about your bass sausage farm. Right. You wouldn't have none of it, would you? No, look, I've learned how to tune you out. You, you what? I've learned how to tune you out. <laughs> but you wouldn't talk about nothing. Do you, uh -uh. you, you know what you said during that? You, you know the only two people you were interested in there? The fish and I. <laughs> the fish and I. What about your good buddy Curtis? Uh, I told you we'd talk about my good buddy Curtis after we got the fish in. Okay, I get the best. If you get to talking to me real hard, I'll be lost to fish and we won't be able to put on film what I have to say. <laughs> it go bleep, 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 bleep? Yeah, I'm, I'm known for that. Uh, okay, all right. So in other words, I better get out of your way. Yeah, so you and can Craig fit. is a good Christian fellow. He is. He doesn't like to hear that a lot. Okay. Every once in a while, I lose my composure up here. <laughs> I say, "Excuse me, Craig. Excuse yeah, me." Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't see, you don't excuse me when you when you say them words to me. I don't say them to you either. You don't say them at me. Uh -uh. At you or to you. <laughs> Can't get enough of Fly Rod Chronicles. Check us out online. This segment is brought to you by Fly Rod Chronicles Signature Rods. 
You know, John was from Spring Hope, North Carolina, and he was proud of where he came from. You know, in the mid 70s, John had an accident and he was confined to a wheelchair. That never got John down. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. That's you it. Me, huh? That's what life's all about. That's what it is about, isn't it? Huh? That's what it's all about. Man. You know, John went to work every morning. He ran Bass Sausage Farms, and man, was he proud of it. And uh, he was just an incredible inspiration to not only me, but all the men and women that is part of Project Tilling Waters. Would Wes you? won't ever be right again. I mean, he can go <laughs> all over the world. And as I told him on the phone the first time I talked to him, and he was coming back from the Green River in Utah, yeah. I said, son, you never go anywhere, anywhere in the world like you'll go when you yeah. go to Spruce Creek. And Wes was, uh, I picked this year, Phil Johnson, who runs our original coordinators in, in Virginia and West Virginia for Project Heaven Waters, called me when we started selection committee and he says, I've got the guy for you, Wes Hodges. This is what it's about is for Project Heaven Waters to be able to select an excellent fly fisherman to bring to a special place like this. There you go. We're able to do what we're doing here today because of people like Ryan, Wes, Josh, yeah. Ryan Mancini, Robert Bartlett, Billy Day, all the people that have served yeah. to keep our country what it is today. Yeah. One of the most special places in the world. I don't think anywhere from Patagonia to Hong Kong has got anywhere like this. This is my friend Doc. And we're up here in Pennsylvania on Spruce Creek. as a Spruce Creek brand. It's Westervelt Ecological Services, time for conservation. On today's conservation segment, I'd like to talk a little bit about Project Healing Waters. You know, for me, it's an honor to be part of Project Healing Waters and to be able to volunteer and to be able to hang out with some of these veterans. Some of the veterans may have wounds that are superficial and, and some can be pretty serious. And what I'd like to talk about is what takes place when volunteering with Project Healing Waters. Um, there's a lot of access ramps that are built and when we go to design these ramps and put them in, um, we're thinking about how to do it without disrupting the natural flow of the river and hurting the environment. And it's all about getting the veterans as close or into the water as possible. Um, you know, uh, another thing is catching that fish and releasing it. If you're guiding or you're helping them out, you know, you got to be mobile. You got to get out there and be able to get that fish and get it back into the water. But, you know, we always want to get that picture. Whatever it takes for our vets. You know, they paid the ultimate sacrifice. And the least that we can do for them is support them in the healing process. And if you can get that fish and get it back to them and get that picture and get that smile, it's worth a gazillion bucks. But hey, it is about getting the fish back to the water. You know, John had that personality where he loved to pick on people. And, uh, and, and if you didn't pick back, um, I, I, I just don't think that he respected you as much. And, um, you know, I'm that kind of person that, you know, if, if I can dish it, I better be able to take it. And, you know, I'm an easy target. And, and John had a, a lot of fun with me. So, uh, 
you know, you'll see here John's catching fish, but I just couldn't take it anymore. And, and I, I grabbed the fly rod and headed to the stream and I had to let a fly fly. It's IGFA Catch of the Week. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nice. Oh, oh. That's it. Come on. Yeah, that fish is going crazy. Look at it. <laughs> this fish, I'm telling you, angry. I mean, bitter and angry right now. This fish is shaking his head. I'm telling you, he looks like my third grade teacher when I stole that number two pencil. <laughs> that didn't come out. Hey, I'm telling you, bitter and angry. Sorry, Miss Peril. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Run him down, baby, run him down. Oh, this ain't good. Come on, Steve. This ain't good, is it? What do you do here? No. What do you do? I do. Come on, Craig. I thought you were an athlete. Get down here, baby. Oh. Go get him, Craig. Come out of there, baby. You've got to be kidding me. No way. You can't go down there. When Craig told me I was in for a dog fight, I didn't have a clue. No way! You gotta be kidding me! We just chased that baby clear back to West Virginia. Look at that thing! Mercy. We've been to Cherokee, we've been to Pennsylvania, we've been to Vermont. Dad, gone! Oh gosh, look at this guy. Look at this. You got look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, Gorgeous. look here. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, come on. And get him headed upstream. Steve, look at this guy. Look at him. He wants to go. Hey, you're, hey, you're an ex athlete. Absolutely. I'm serious. I, I got like a 7 7 40, don't I? <laughs> That's a real good cast. Got it. Yeah, baby. All right, Steve. Oh, my goodness. Is, is this a good time to talk about the stock market? This is bigger than your firstborn <laughs> child, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Steve. Oh, look at this fish. Look, he ain't lying. I'm telling you right now, Lake and Autumn wasn't that big when they were born. Holy smoke! John Bass, what you been feeding that? Bass sausage? Look yes, at sir. that thing. What 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 fly are you using, John? Um, 18 blue wing olive emerger. 18 blue wing olive emerger. Oh man, Steve, can you see us? Look at the white on its mouth. It's a rainbow, isn't it, John? Yeah. Oh, oh God. That, oh man. I wanted to see it, John Bass. Well, that's the way it works. John has a big fish. Yep. Good thing Steve's got the mic on. You know, Project Telling Waters has been a really cool organization and something that I'm proud to be part of. You know, it don't matter if you just want to volunteer, be involved, or donate. Go to Project Telling Waters dot org and check these guys out. Oh, big fish, that's a big brown. That's a nice brown, John. Look at this guy. How many miles do you drive to get here, John? 
450. How many? 450. Oh, oh, oh let's think about this. <laughs> Was it worth every mile to drive? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look at that fish. That, that thing is, it, yeah, it's orange. It, it almost looks like a golden trout. Look at that. You got him right in the top of the jaw. Oh, man. I have not seen a fish collar like that. That is incredible. Come on, baby, come on. Yes! <laughs> look at this guy. This is a gorgeous Woo! fish. Hey, look at the smile on his face, look Steve. Look here, look here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Huh? That's the Spruce Creek brand. Oh, man, oh, man. Lord have mercy. It's time for Trout Unlimited Release of the Week. You know, John, I, I guess you could say he was a little bit of an elitist because um, every time I'd fish subsurface, uh, he'd give me a hard time. He loved catching fish on a dry fly. Um, John had this knack of catching beautiful fish. And, you know, being part of Project Tilling Waters, you get some good volunteers to come out. And as you'll see, um, everybody pitched in and helped John release this beautiful fish. Look at the markings on that. Yeah, yeah. Holy smoke. Oh, wow. Orange salmon. Greg, that fish grew up this creek. Oh, there's no doubt. That's a wild fish, yeah. isn't it? Hey, you're old enough to remember Muhammad Ali. You know, we grew up watching that. You, hey, Howard Cosell used to interview him after a big fight after he was beat half to death. That's what that, that, that's you right now. What do you think, champ? I believe I'm ready to go again. <laughs> Put me back in. Put me back in, coach. Put me back in one more time. All right, one yeah. more time. I remember one time we were playing football and we were playing uh, a military school, and I was at Patterson. Mm -hmm. and they took our star player and broke his leg the first play of the game, beat everybody to death. The coach looked around at me, I said, I don't believe I want any of this right here. He said, get out of there. <laughs> hey, John, just, just one thing, and I know we fish together down in Southern Virginia, and I mean, this place is just incredible. But you know, again, your story and your enthusiasm of just getting out here you don't complain. You say, I don't care if the fish is biting. Get me out there. I need yeah. to do it. It's incredible. I don't know if I'm any more special than anybody else. You just, you take what God gives you and you go with it. I mean, I could have given up and died, but God, if you died, look what you'd have missed. Tell you what, there's a lot of people up and down the streams that has been blessed because you've been in their lives, and I know I'm one. And uh, these soldiers and what you do for them and inspiration is incredible, John. Um, well, when you're, when you're handicapped a little bit and they want to complain, they can't complain so much when they're fishing with you, you know? Uh, there you go, buddy. That's the way to do it. That, that's it. Well, hey, it's time to catch more that's fish. Not, yeah, it's time for you to catch another one. All right, come on, let's do it. Okay. You know, this John Bass tribute show meant a lot to me personally. Um, pretty cool looking back through the archives, because we go back uh, over 12 years. And, and, you know, John just recently passed away. And to go back and see those smiles and, and to see how happy John was when he was out on the water fishing, or when he was with Project Healing Waters. John changed a lot of lives, and he touched a lot of people and I'm one of them. You know, you can never replace someone like John. Um, he had grit. He had that personality that would pick you up, but he'd also kick you in the butt. But one thing about it, if you ever needed John, he was only a phone call away. And I'll tell you what, as all of you know that know John Bass, you better return that call. Because I'll tell you, I missed a couple because I was out abroad. He'd call my dad, and he'd sick my dad on me. But, uh, but you know, John was old school, but he had a heart of gold. Sure are going to miss him. That's a big this is bigger than your firstborn child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fishing boy. Mm. 
Oh, look at this fish. I'm on what? my way. I've been gone too long. <laughs> What'd you learn? Uh, not what not to do. What not to do. That's it. Mean, huh? That's what life's all about. That's what it is about, isn't it? Huh? That's what it's all about. Man. Yeah. Oh, so make fun of me. There we go. There we go. Were you were interested in there? The fish and I. <laughs> the fish and I. What about your good buddy Curtis? Uh, I told you we'd talk about my good buddy Curtis after we got the fish in.